All right, so I'm going to go over a really cool invention for cabins, RVs, little survival locations, and places you're probably not living in full time. And that especially can be the case with the cabins and RVs, which are um, relatively small living spaces that you're not living in small time. And if you have uh, lethal mouse traps in these things, then you got the dead mouse body, let's say inside a wall, underneath some furniture, stinking the place up, making it very unsanitary, and it's kind of a bad news situation. Um, on the other hand, these things are expensive. They're about 30 bucks, U.S. made, very durable, very long lasting. Gives you a lot of options on how you're going to deal with your mouse situation, including live capture, live release with uh, people you don't like. Okay, so if you want to let mice loose in somebody's house and you don't like them, uh, you can give somebody else that rodent problem. I mean, there's some options that happen in some of this stuff. Um, one of the things that's kind of interesting about this is it uses a really slick uh, clockwork lined up wind-up mechanism. Uh, we, we have a lid that actually slides on um, slides slides on to this and I'm not going to do this and hold the camera the other hand, but it, but it slides on and then once it's on you can kind of go back and forth with it and then this can lift also let's say if you're going to leave the top and then open this up um, and that allows for live or dead uh, release and removal of you know whatever this thing managed to trap so you would wind up this little clock mechanism and what you have in here is a paddle so as little Kudersan kind of goes through the middle of here you'll see there's a little pad once he steps on that pad the paddle comes through. See how the paddle works and what the paddle will do is it bats them into the next little chamber. Once they've been batted into this chamber and you know everything's kind of closed up well they still have air and so if they squeak and make noise and call the little mouse buddies their mouse buddies are going to hear and are going to be naturally curious. So what happens is they they kind of sniff around and look around and they find there's this little passageway and the passageway goes all the way through. So the issue is once they get halfway through the passage, bing, it bats the next mouse in. And they just keep squeaking and calling out to their buddies and their buddies come to investigate. In one night, I, I had a mouse infestation at my cabin, and one night we got four mice in here. Um, they had been ripping the place up. Let me tell you something. When I wasn't there, they were in the walls, they were in the stuff, they were in uh, little, little secret stash locations, tearing shit up. Um, they really got into a lot of stuff. And I was surprised at how much they had really gotten into and I really didn't know, know how many I had because at any given time I'd only see one mouse around. And I thought, boy, is that guy getting around and crapping a lot and, and, and just pooping all over the place. Well, I put some trail mix in here, a little dish of water, and went to bed that night. And I would hear the, the clicker mechanism two times throughout the night. And all that running around and scurrying around and, and hearing the mice chewing on my stuff was happening less and less. And by the next morning, I'm, I'm looking here and a bunch of little mice are sticking their noses up to the, the little opening. Uh, they had uh, kind of been done eating and, and wanted to leave. And uh, so, you know, I was able to deal with that situation. Now, if you're going to do a live release, you simply just take the mouse trap up the road and uh, open it up, dump them out, let them run away or whatever. If you're really tired of the little bastards and you want to kill them, you get a tote bin container full of water and drown the whole trap. Once you drown the whole trap, well, then you can throw these guys out for the birds. And I had owls and eagles out around the retreat location. So you throw these little guys out and that's a meal for your, your slightly larger critters. And that is one of the ways you can cleanly get rid of mice. Much more preferable than the death traps because what happens is you, you don't end up with a dead and decaying mouse somewhere 
um, when he might not be back for a few days, or one that would attract those predatory critters that create even more of a problem in your place. So the other advantage of this is that you're not going to over poisons. Is you're not going to have a dead mouse that that somewhere either inside your walls or inside your pantry. Even worse, that it died inside your food supply and the maggots and everything that goes with the dead body was in there. Also, that that can all be a lot of bad stuff. What this is really good for is it's going to deal with a whole colony of mice. You can capture the entire colony. They'll they'll squeak and they'll call out to each other. It'll get their buddies in the trap too. Uh, it'll keep them alive for as long as you left uh, the food and water inside of there. So if you want to come back in a week and deal with the mice, uh, you can come back in a week and deal with the mice. Or maybe they turn cannibal against each other, who knows. But generally speaking, if you got a couple of mice in there, you left a little uh, uh, trail mix and a little dish of water in there, you come back, they have not probably died and, and stunk up the place, so they'll still be there. Um, the other thing, of course, if you own lizards or snakes, you can use them as lizard or snake food. So this is the Catch-All Low Maintenance Live Capture Professional Mouse Trap. I'm going to highly recommend this thing for survival retreat cabins, RVs, motorhomes, stuff like that, uh, while it's left in storage. Put a little food and water in that thing, you get live capture on the critters, you come back, um... And, and you've got it all contained. Uh, far cleaner than uh, other types of mouse traps, and, and definitely much more sanitary than a poisoning situation where you know you, you might have these critters dying inside the walls someplace. If you want to do a double kill where you've got the dead body containment plus the um, uh, uh, the the critter getting rid of situation, you just put poison inside of it. Uh, the poison's usually flavored and edible. Uh, they'll eat it when they get inside there. The problem is that as soon as one of them dies, the others kind of figure out something bad has happened. If he's alive and he's eating and drinking, they don't want to get in there and join their buddy. And so that is kind of, you know, how it sets up like a little mouse prison. And you can, you know, relocate him elsewhere or kill him or whatever you're going to do. And I, I like the idea of having multiple options with the uh, the mouse trap, and so I'm going to highly recommend this catch all mouse trap. It's it's kind of complex and expensive, but very reusable, and uh, good idea for the pantries and survival cabins stuff like that.